Well, I was just doing a whole bunch of breeding footage and I couldn't help looking at how pretty the pond's getting. Um, you guys all seen it at this point on the one clip. But right now what I'm doing is I'm just letting it cycle. And as you can see, I got my water clarity 100%. As good as it's going to get in here. It'll get a little better. But uh, I went through the new tank syndrome and the shock there for a while. And it got a little muggy, a little cruddy. But uh, everything's starting to balance out. I think the good bacteria and the bad bacteria are all starting to knit. And it's balanced. But visibility is really, really good. I really like the way this turned out and uh, I'm gonna get the that's a filter box right there and what it, what you got there now that the water's clear I can explain that what we have is that's the main pump right there and that pump has to be submerged that can't be a dry pump and that's got an intake and then it's got an out the out is right there and that just goes right up through to the back of that box which is my uh, biological filter box filled with all the lava and all that good bacteria growth and it just dumps out then the intake is this little short pipe and that box is called a pre-filter and inside of that box I have sponges and the sponges filter all the bigger pieces of waste or whatever turtle poop and whatnot and that the sponges catch that and just let the water go through this pipe into an impeller that's on this pump which gets pressurized and shot out there if you don't have a pre-filter on your pump like that then your impeller the impeller is what actually spins the water through sucks your water in the intake and spits it back out your impeller will get all gunked up with turtle cheese and uh, it won't work properly it just will lose pressure it just won't pull the water like it's supposed to so you definitely want to have a pre-filter um, which is that filter box right there. All I use in mine is sponges, but you can use a sponge in yours um, You can put activated carbon in there also, you know carbon bag um, Ammo chips, you know, you can put all that stuff right inside that box. The lid just comes off um, Once a week I pull that box out and that's why I like to have them close once a week I'll pull that box out and I just take it to the sink I clean out everything real good put it back in make sure the impeller is working good and I'm good to go and I always know when the filters need to be changed by, you know, the amount of water that's coming out of the boxes. You can tell, you know, that's really chugging. But as the filter starts getting full, it, you know, the sponge will restrict how much water actually gets into the pump. And that water will slow down. But that's how that works. It's real simple. And you can get these pumps online. You can get them at a garden store, Lowe's, Home Depot, pond places, any place. I like to use a 700 gallon per hour pump. That's basically the minimum I'll use, but they go all the way up to 12, 1300 for a small pond, and you can get them twice that size for bigger outside ponds. But I'll, uh, well, look at this girl showing off. What a big girl. Not a care in the world. Big old red hair. She's the shit, too. All the males love chasing her around. They, they think she's sexy, but she's so damn big that nobody can really get a hold of her. And, she usually turns around and kicks her asses or chases them around and she's a good girl and there's my original boy you can see how melanistic he is he's over 20 years old i got that red-eared slider when he was the size of my thumbnail that's cletus cletus <laughs> but you can see how old he is he's lost all his pattern he's become real melanistic he's a good boy but here's the other pumps now this pump stays the way it is. The outtake is right there, and basically that pumps water this way. And you can see, you can see the little sud bubbles, and you can actually even see this turtle fighting the current. That current's going that way to that filter box. It goes right on around. So that one will stay under just to keep my current to make the whirlpool in here. And what that does is that drives all the dirt. You'll notice right there is all the dirt that I got in the pond that's visible right there in the center. And as the turtles go over that or pass through it or whatever, they'll lift it up, stir it up, and then it all ends up in a filter box. But believe me, that's nothing for a turtle pond that's got this many big turtles in it. This pond looks great. 
and then uh, there's another filter box. So there's three filter boxes in here, and that's a pre-filter, and there's the tube. I made that one a little bit longer so I can pull it over and reach it. But there's that pump, and that pump feeds this line that goes all the way up and around. There's a pre-filter box up there with some lava and whatnot. Um, lava rock and all that good stuff for the bacteria, and then that dumps into this little pipe. I built that pipe for the musk turtles. So what's going to be left to do on this is I'll get the plumbing all situated. Um, I'll get these lines tucked around and um, they'll, they'll be clamped to the side and down. You know, they'll just look cleaner and, you know, a little bit more uniform. But right now all I'm worried about is cycling it and getting the pond right. 